Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Marion in charge of partnership here at World Agritech Summit. I am joined today by Nish Majarian, Global Managing Director at TELUS Agriculture. Nish, it's nice to have you with us. Good to see you, Marion. We are going to jump right in. So in 2020, Agrion was acquired along with several other exceptional ag tech companies to form TELUS Agriculture with an ambition to become the first independent unified technology partner for the agri-food supply chain. What stage are you in at, in this unifi unification journey? Sure. Um, so last year in, in 21, we really we call that phase one. We brought the 11 companies that we've acquired together. Uh, we unified the teams and, and we essentially divided the businesses, those 11 companies into, into four different business units, three customer facing, one back office. So the first is the agribusiness unit that I head up that seven of the 11 companies. Then we also have an animal health uh, business with two of the 11 companies. And then finally, food, beverage, and consumer goods, which is our third customer facing business unit. And that's the remaining two businesses. Um, we have a fourth uh, in-house business unit that we call global technology. And that's essentially where we've taken the 500 plus engineers from the acquired companies, put them into one global team. And, and we're doing that because that's going to uh, accelerate our phase two, and, 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 and which is really going on this year, where now that we've got those three distinct go-to-market models, uh, essentially encompassing the entire agri-food supply chain from the field through animal agriculture, all the way to consumers, uh, CPG, grocery retail, what we're now doing is going back and rebuilding those uh, uh, technology assets, not from the ground up, but really putting a new front end on a really deep set of uh, existing software services um, this year to uh, essentially build three unified technology platforms for every one of those business units. So agribusiness at the conclusion of this year will uh, um, uh, you know, be in the market with a unified technology platform to serve uh, uh, you know, our users in the field, so to speak, in ag retail, uh, in uh, grower, packer, shipper, handlers, et cetera, and, and, and certainly ag manufacturers. Um, same thing with animal agriculture and same thing with our food, beverage and consumer goods group. So uh, uh, phase two, again, this year is to unify the tech stacks in those three business units and then to link those three business units with a common data layer so that we can uh, be set up for the third phase where we start to link uh, uh, our customers into a full supply chain of capabilities from the field all the way again up to consumers. It's brilliant to have that that, that scope um, across uh, across the entire supply chain, and you, you, you're talking about so much talent under one roof. So has has there been any like light bulb light bulb moment, <laughs> and and has there been any? friction points? Uh, you, you, you know, anytime you bring 1500 people together, it, it, there's there's always a lot of excitement. Uh, uh, but but I, I will say there hasn't been really a, a light bulb or an aha moment. We we we, we see the value of what we're doing. I, I'll, I'll tell you, though, as a as an entrepreneur and somebody who likes bringing really interesting capabilities to customers, it's been a lot of fun to take this assembled set of assets and take capabilities from one end of the supply chain. So for example, taking capabilities from our food, beverage and consumer goods group and to bring them into production agriculture in the field. And what's interesting is you see different parts of the supply chain have different levels of maturity. Uh, and, and certainly in the food, beverage and consumer goods world, they've been very effective at trade promotion management, trade promotion optimization, how do they sell better using data and analytics? And so we're taking a lot of those capabilities and bringing them down into production agriculture, which is going to be great for a lot of our customers. So a lot of fun mixing and matching of capabilities, repurposing capabilities that have been broadly adopted for, in some cases, decades at different levels of the supply chain and, and, and socializing them throughout the supply chain. 
great opportunity for our customers to have new value created on an existing implementation. Okay, so you 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 have changed the way you have changed the way you, you you've been working and and, and the, the way you make business. So, um, at World Agritech, you'll be speaking on a panel about building a technology stack to scale up sustainable and climate smart farming practices. So, sure. um, what engagement are you seeing from farmers and food companies in using technology? Yeah, so farmers uh, uh, are the foundation farmers and those that serve farmers right so uh, uh, agronomic service providers ag retailers uh, uh, agronomists they really in, in uh, oftentimes surround the farmer with services and so you you can't just have the farmer you've got to have the farmer and those that serve the farmer and that's something we do exceptionally well but but with that what what is going to really change production agriculture and really going to empower sustainability and all future initiatives is having a unified platform and capability to move data through the supply chain. One of the great challenges that we have in agri-food today is, is uh, that people are assembling a supply chain of capabilities with fragmented point solutions. And if, if you're a grower, you're an agronomist, you're operating in the field. If you're a food company trying to assemble data from a series of agronomists or agronomic service providers, it's death by a thousand cuts. It's death by point solution because you're trying to assemble a unified solution with a fragmented foundation. And so that's the problem that we think we can really help solve, bringing the, the, the broadest and, and deepest set of capabilities with a unified data layer to power those future needs. And, and, and one of the great challenges that you have if you're a food company or a grower is you don't know what the future is going to hold. And so a big part of what we do is implement a series of capabilities that provide great value to the agronomist and the grower today, but also future-proof them because once we have that data in a system, at a time and place of their choosing, they can choose to make or, or expose that information to those that need it throughout the supply chain. And we think that's going to be really empowering. I know that's really interesting. And um, yeah, we don't we don't have a crystal ball where we can't really predict the future. But um, yeah, well, um, what we can predict is that this panel, this discussion is definitely going to be really, really interesting um, for, for, for the entire supply chain. So Nish, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you in San Francisco. Thanks, Marion. I'm looking forward to it.